as you see in the beginning, WNBA, double fucker. Now, what do I mean by that, WNBA double fuckery? Recently, this WNBA player, who I will not name in this video, decided to go to Twitter and make some complaints against what Golden State Warriors basketball player, Draymond Green, had to say regarding the issues that the WNBA is currently facing. Now, Draymond Green, in his response to, um, some of the issues that the WNBA has been dealing with for a very long time now, he made a valid point when he said, instead of always coming down to men and to why they don't support the WNBA, and instead of this notion of women's empowerment, how about the WNBA and their players start going to these companies and other corporations to help them sponsor the WNBA by funding and financing the WNBA. Now, in one notion of what Draymond Green stated, he makes abs he makes absolute sense. He makes a great valid point. But what does this WNBA player do in response to great Draymond Green? Instead of responding to him directly, she decides to go on Twitter and make this post about something that had nothing to do with what Draymond Green said. Now, the reason why I labeled this double fuckery is because of the stance that this WNBA player made in regards to that tweet while also living out a contradiction as to who she really is while simultaneously wanting to put the blame on all black men as if black men are the reason why the WNBA has been a failing product ever since the 1990s. Now, the WNBA has been in existence since 1997. And the nearly 25 years of its existence, it has yet to draw a profit. It has yet to put themselves into the black instead of the red. In fact, during the 2000s, the WNBA was on the brink of extinction. And you want to know who saved the WNBA from going completely bankrupt? It was the NBA. Now in 2021, interest for the WNBA just isn't there. So instead of looking internally to fix the problems that is crippling the WNBA, these WNBA players are not only going at the NBA to try to fix their problems, we'll get to that in a second, but instead this post is a very sad tale of what a lot of our women think about us brothers here in this country. First of all, why are black men being blamed for something that they didn't do? Black men ain't the reason why the WNBA doesn't spark interest. If you look at the overall fan base of the WNBA, people who actually watch their games, people who actually attend their games, people who actually purchase the merchandise, the overwhelming majority of those fans are actually brothers. Because there are some brothers who appreciate both men's and women's basketball. But instead, this woman wants to put this notion that all black men are just tear down black women who are professional basketball players and they don't support them at all. They're doing the same thing that the white man been doing to us for centuries. While at the same time, this woman is a lesbian married to a white woman. Why isn't this black lesbian basketball player going at the white man and going at these white companies for not sponsoring them. In all honesty, let's look at both the NBA and the WNBA. Interest for the NBA is actually declining because of the simple fact that there's way too much three-point shooting, there's very little emphasis on defense, and you maybe have two or three teams that just stack, that, own, that have a realistic chance of ever winning the finals, and it's been going on now for over the past decade. Yeah. The NBA is still self-sufficient because it generates a revenue of anywhere between five to seven billion dollars per year. And they're still generating interest even during a pandemic. Let's look at the WNBA. 
As I mentioned earlier, the, the WNBA has not turned a profit ever since it began in 1997. The NBA itself has had to publicly lend the WNBA in excess of over $25 million annually for the WNBA to keep a float. Now, why is it that the WNBA isn't nowhere near as successful as the NBA? Now, keep in mind, the NBA didn't become the global phenomenon that it is now until around the 1980s. But the NBA had a 30-year start, and they also had to compete with various alternate leagues outside of his own. And the NBA did not become a monopoly until 1976, nearly 30 years after it began. The WNBA, on the other hand, they don't have any competition. The reality is, most people are just not interested in women's basketball. Most people aren't interested in women's sports. This is no knock on the women that play. It's just you have to understand the basic economy of your profession. As I stated, interest in the NBA is declining. So if people ain't watching the men's basketball and they are the elitist of basketball players, what, what makes you think people are just going to tune in to the WNBA? There's rarely any excite excitement to the game. And then they push this whole feminism and lesbianism on the people as if we supposed to automatically accept it. And for you to claim that black men are continuing to drag down black women because we don't support a league that, that draws no interest to us whatsoever while you're married to a white woman, man, how shame of you to do that. You're basically contradicting yourself. You want to put down brothers when brothers aren't even the cause of the problem. But yet you married to a white woman, you the stud in a relationship. But you wish you were us. See, what I'm learning about a lot of you lesbian black women, you hate who you really are. Your battle ain't against us. Your battle is with the creator. And, you, and your battle is with the creator simply because you hate that the creator didn't make you to be me. But I digress. Instead of coming at the men for their unwillingness to support your lead, how about y'all go at the women? People been saying this for years. It's a women's basketball league. Why isn't the interest for the WNBA paramount amongst women? Why aren't women in large droves supporting your league that the NBA itself built for women? Want to know why? Because women themselves ain't interested in women's basketball like y'all was fooled to believe that they were. You ask most women, would they rather watch a WNBA basketball game or an NBA game? They're going to tell you they'd rather watch LeBron them play than watch their local team. And this whole gender equality stuff that me and you WNBA players are, are pushing, y'all don't really believe in that. Then a couple years ago, there was, there was this one sister that went on ESPN and basically put the WNBA on blast that ridiculed her because she was a straight woman and, 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 and y'all dog tough to the point she left the league because she didn't want to embrace lesbianism. WNBA star Candace Wiggins retired from the WNBA about a year ago and now she's talking about some of the surprising hardships she experienced in the league. She said she was bullied in the league for being straight. She said me being heterosexual and straight and being vocal in my identity as a straight woman was huge. I would say 98% of the women in the WNBA are gay women. It was a conformist type of place. There was a whole different set of rules they, the other players, could apply. There was a lot of jealousy and competition and we're all fighting for crumbs. The way I looked, the way I played, those things contributed to the tension. People were deliberately trying to hurt me all of the time. I had never been called the B word so many times in my life than I was in my rookie season. I'd never been thrown to the ground so much. The message was, we want you to know we don't like you. But guys, even more than that, she called the WNBA culture toxic and said the culture was the reason she retired two years earlier than she originally so we, we get to the cusp of this whole matter. I, I, I'm inclined to believe without a shadow of a doubt that lesbianism, especially in the WNBA, is nothing but bullies. And when bullies get spanked at their own game, they can't take it. So therefore, they try to blame somebody else for their failures. Women like you, and it's a whole lot of y'all so-called sisters that blame the black man for every goddamn thing that you can't even correct, that you can't even fix, that you ain't even got a hold of. This is y'all lead. Promote yourselves. Get these companies invested in y'all. 
and get that proper funding instead of depending on the men's league to do it for you. So that you can push women's empowerment and show it at a large scale. But don't be blaming black men for something that we had no parts in. And plus the quality of play isn't sufficient as the NBA. That's the main reason why most men don't watch the NBA. And that's beyond just black men. As I stated, interest in the NBA itself is going down because the game is somewhat has been lured to a more of a friendly competition as opposed to a natural competition. So if the NBA game itself is declining because of the actual play, what makes you think men are just going to watch the WNBA when we know for a fact that your game is nowhere near the level of the, of the NBA itself? In conclusion, Stop blaming the black man for something that he had no hands in in doing. Instead, look inside the mirror, which is the women inside the WNBA itself, and look to fix your own damn problem. I'm tired of you women, especially you so-called black women, who like to swim, who like to swirl and shit like that. Here you is, you married to a white woman, but you want to blame the black man for everything. No, you're a grown ass woman. You take accountability for your own actions and for your own feelings. And I already know y'all gonna come on here and say, Uplift what? How about her? how about she uplift herself and look herself in the mirror? Instead of always wanting to place the blame on us. Now, when we fuck up and do wrong, yeah, we got to take accountability for that. But in this case, black man ain't got nothing to do with the WNBA. Blame the women and blame the black women who do not support your league. Because even those black women who refuse to support your league because you have an inferior service, they come to where the real service is at. The men. Because the men do produce. And if it weren't for the men portion of basketball, the WNBA would have crumbled a long time ago. Fix your own problems and stop blaming everybody else for something that you have failed to produce. I'm out. Well, we used to identify with being black first and having a black man. But because of the women's liberation movement, now we try to identify as being female and we got all of this here, you know, black girls do this and black women do that, you know, and uh, we have not come up with a program as black women that honors our men as much as we honor ourselves, okay? Mm -hmm. It would not be us if it were not for him, okay? Mm -hmm.